Okay, now we're going to learn how to grab an image uh, of a picture you found online and convert it into something that may or may not work for 3D design. Some images work better than others. I find that um, outlines of images work best, but sometimes uh, you can get lucky. On, you can get lucky on something. All right, so it's a presidential election year, so I'm going to do a Google image search for the White House. Now, like I said, the images which we find, some are going to be better than others. But, like, see these? Well, lovely images, they don't really work very well for what we're hoping to accomplish here. So they're all very good pictures. All right, check this one out. This one, um, it's kind of a good version of what we need. It's got clear contrast, dark color, light color. Uh, dark color, light color, right? So we might uh, get lucky with this one. So I'm going to right click on this with the two finger click and we're going to go to save image as. I'm going to make sure that the image saves in my downloads folder. So downloads folder is highlighted and then I'm going to click save. Now this is a link that I'll have ready for you in on this post in Google Classroom. So just look below the video to get to this link. It's picksvg.com. I'm going to upload a picture. And just like I saved it to my downloads folder, I'm going to upload it out of my downloads folder. Click on it and open. And picksvg converter does its magic. And now it's not perfect, but if we click download SVG image, Right, I have it here now. So this is called DSD 9T UZT. And notice it's a .svg. The same uh, thing you saw a couple weeks ago when we uh, saved something out of Google Drawings. So now I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to choose a new file to import. And instead of it being uh, the Google Drawing, it's now, there's my DSD, and it's an SVG, so I click Open, and there it is, Import. Now, it might take a, a couple of seconds here because uh, I find that these are very large images to work with when we're importing from PickSVG.com. There it is. So... It's not a perfect recreation of the image we saw. But you might be able to use some elements here in order to, well,